Right, in this video, we are going to be looking at how I modified these torches to get away from this thing, which takes three AAA batteries, even with rechargeables. It just wasn't lasting long enough. We use these little torches loads. Where we live, it's, it's really dark in the winter and taking the dogs out to do their business, it's pitch black. There's no street, street lights anywhere near us. But these things, they come with like this cassette You've probably seen that, but I modified them to take a laptop battery, basically an 18650, quite common. That's a, just a standalone battery that I bought off Amazon, and this one's actually come off a lap, out of a laptop. To me, they, they, they're a little bit brighter with this as well, so it's probably got a little bit more power to it. So anyway, we're gonna look at how we modify these. It's really simple to do, and we're gonna look at it now. To do this, there's a couple of um, little problems that we've got to overcome. The first one is obviously this is longer than the cassette that comes out of it. Also, a lot of these, especially if you're using ones out of laptops, they'll have a, a lower pin and there's a shoulder on the face of the actual light driver, LED driver cassette. So we've got to grind that down and there's a spring in here with another collar. We've got to remove that to make get the space that we need. The other problem is this thing is um, it's narrower than the cassette. So it's going to rattle around. We don't want it moving. So we've got to create a sleeve to stop that movement. First thing, we've got to strip this down and get all the parts out. Um, this is made of aluminium, so it's quite, quite robust and you can mess about a bit. First job is to get rid of this. Now in here, there's a, on this one, there's a slot. And I can get a screwdriver in there and basically untwist this. So that's fairly easy. Um, in the past I have ground this down um, to try and make a bit of space but this time we're going to put a blob of solder on there to raise that up because that's a flat circuit board and then that will make contact with the negative side of this uh, 18650. So that's that case. Let me pull this off, just simply unscrews and then we've got to take the LED driver off. Again this one's been out, but they're not too they're not too hard to undo. There's two slots, just get something in there. And if you haven't got a pair of circlip pliers, we'll do it. Um, two screwdrivers. That's the shoulder we've got to grind down. That's the tube, set that to one side. This is the problem. This pin doesn't make good contact with this surface here because there's a shoulder. So we're just going to simply grind that down. I'm going to put it on a, on a belt grinder, but you could use anything really, a file. Just stay away from this surface. It's just this shoulder you're interested in. All right, I've ground that down now. I haven't taken it all the way. Still want a bit of a shoulder there. But as you can see, there's, there's a nice gap there now. So that our centre pin's going to make good contact with that. Next stage is now the flat bottom of this Obviously these have got a um, protective wrap around them. That's, there's no way that's going to touch this circuit all here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small blob of solder. Again, we don't need loads of it because we don't want to crush this. It'll dent that. So now we've got this collar out. We can just push the circuit board out. Makes it a little bit easier just to get the soldering iron in there and you can see from the side how high we're going because we don't like so don't want to go too mad soldering iron nice and hot and clean as well so if you want to do one and done really don't want to be heating up this circuit board and potentially damaging it that should do us you can check that there we go it's not too much now, if you don't like soldering or you don't want to solder or you haven't got access to a soldering iron, this one, this one's nearly 10 years old, this thing. And all that is, is a bit of tin foil that I super glued just along one edge, very small part, and then folded it down so there's more contact area of the tin foil. And so that's been doing the business for, so it's nearly 10 years, got to be. So yeah, you don't actually need a soldering iron, but if you can, it's a bit neater way of doing it. So that's that switch taken care of, that can now go back in. 
and this just pops back in the in the cap there is a spring that makes contact with the outside edge so don't force it but just make sure it goes back nice and level now this holds this this spring which we don't need anymore but this holds the um, circuit board in stops it from falling out although it won't because it's got the spring contacts but we don't need this anymore if we put this back in it's going to rob the space that we need so that goes in the junk pile we've now ground this down so that part's done the next problem we've got to solve is this because it's narrower than the cassette that come out we don't want it moving around so we need to hold it in place and um, for this i just use a bit of 20 mil electrical conduit tube um, in the past i've done a long tube you don't want it the same length as the battery because obviously we've got little shoulders here we want to keep clear but on this one i'm just going to make little rings because cutting the slot down here, it's not impossible, but it is a bit of a mission. So on this one, I'm just gonna make little rings and have one top and bottom, because that's all we need, just to stop it moving around. So I'll, I'll cut these into, into uh, little rings and then we'll split them. There we go. Two random size rings. Um, you can make them whatever size you like, really. It's just obviously the longer they are, the, it's a bit more tricky to cut this down because um, we don't, don't want to take too much meat out of it, so I'm just going to use a standing knife and cut this down. Um, the reason I make it out of this pipe is because whatever you use to take up this slack and stop this rattling around, you're going to have to take off, or you're probably going to have to take off to say it fits in your charger. So these, once you split them, because at the moment they're too small, but once you split them, it'll, we'll be able to open it up. That'll give it a, it'll grip this better. Now, we've got all our bits done. Let's put this back together. So LED driver, bulb unit back in there so circlet pliers will work well on this because there's a slot either side but if you haven't got access or you can do it without lens goes back on so that's the front part done now we put our collars that we've just made onto the battery I don't have it right at the end just bring it back a little bit same with the base. Pop that on. It's a nice snug fit. That slots in there, obviously positive towards the LED driver. And then screw the cap back on. And if we got this right, that's gone from AAA to so now a nice 18650 lithium. Hopefully you like this sort of thing. If you can, give us a like and subscribe. Help me grow the channel. I'll see you on the next one.